Hello, folks, Beer Reviews. Oh, hello. That's an episode of As the Beer Swirls. Indeed it is. Yeah, it's kicking in now. Uh, this is a beer from Pipe Dream Brewing. Just woke up. Oh, Pipe Dream! Hey! I, I get what all that was for now. Uh, we'll slow on the uptake over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we drinking, Dan? Well, what is this? If they see this, I don't know if we're going to reshoot it. I don't know. The intro was very... It's long. Long. I love boobs. As do I. Do you like boobs? I do. I like boobs. Me too. I'm a fan of the boobs. Hey, yeah, yeah. Good things. You know who else likes boobs? Who? Pipe Dream. Pipe Dream Brewery out of London, Derry, New Hampshire. So, we like them. They like them. We're having pipe dreams. We like beer. They have. Be this is this is a good match right here. <laughs> so this is uh, a beer, obviously from Pipe Dream, as a said five times. Uh, this is five percent <laughs> ABV. Uh, it is. Uh, so this is, uh, it says we're fans of large melons here at Pipe Dream Brewing. Oh, so we you. took watermelon candy and mixed in some blackberries for fun to create a special sour ale dedicated to increasing breast cancer awareness. To go a step further, we're donating a portion of all the proceeds to help find a cure. Oh, so drink up and help us save some crap. boobs. Dude. We got this beer for free. Not really. We, Not really. Okay. We, might have, there, there, there's a cost. We might have to make a donation. Yeah. Anyway. I have made a donation, actually. So, do you think that's the flavor that they think boobs taste like? Watermelon? Yeah, and what was the other? It was watermelon and... Uh, watermelon candy and blackberries. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. No, not at all. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like... One of those drinks you took out of the stripper's boobs at the... What, what the, if you What if you did that and it tasted like ground chicken? So anyways, breast cancer. Uh, usually October is uh, the month to highlight the cancer awareness. It, I just assumed it was whatever month the NFL told us it was. October. It's one of the players where all the pink stuff. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, seriously. Um, and this is... Yeah. Aroma cancer is stupid and it sucks. <laughs> Whoa, hot takes over here. I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. Yeah. Cancer is stupid and it sucks. It certainly is. And I don't and understand does. why it's a thing. Um, we can go to the moon, but we can't solve cancer. Come on now. We made it to the moon. Woo! Uh, this is yeah, a kind of an almost amber lager looking. You know what it looks color. like? Color. It, it's darker, but it it looks. It looks like the Jolly Rancher before they solidified the Jolly Rancher. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks like um, oh, it's a juicy juice. There's a there's like a cherry kind of juicy juice. It was dark like that. If yeah, where they correctly. say it's real fruit yeah, and stuff. They're liars. But then when you read the back, it just says high fructose corn syrup with 1%. I think it says like the picture on the label is real. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, it looks... Very nice. And before you get a secret smell, because it's, it's already walking all over. Ooh. Oh, that's that's watermelon candy. That's Jolly Rancher. That's Jolly Rancher, basically. They got to then use Jolly Rancher. They must have. That's the only watermelon candy I could think of. Well, you get the watermelon push-up pop. Yeah. I, I Honestly, uh, watermelon the, uh, bubblicious gum comes to mind. The ring pops. Ring pops. Yeah, but this is like candy, not gum. No, but that has a candy flavor. It's yeah, but they're, they're not putting bubblegum in their beer. No shit, but I'm just saying I'm getting an aroma of, like, bubblegum, that watermelon gum. Who chews watermelon gum? That's disgusting. Not me. It's disgusting. <laughs> Do you chew watermelon gum? I think ring pop is spot on because there's, like, a, a slight... I think it's more push pop. I think it's ring pop because it's got that slight medicinal kind of aroma to it. That's what I always got from ring pop. When did, at what point did the ring pop stop being innocent? What, at what age? Innocent? Why was it innocent? You know how, like, you can be really, like, young? Yeah. You're, like, seven years old. Sure. You got your ring pop, and it's cool. Yeah, you know, but as you get older, like, you aren't going to be a 14-year-old kid in, like, lunch break sucking on a ring pop. I don't, I don't know. So, huh? You know what I mean? <laughs> There's so many. It's like that you consider it innocent. That's such an innocent candy. It is. It, it was innocent candy, and okay. then at a certain point, it's it's like playing. 
And, and what, like, there's that point in your life where you stop going out to play. There's a point in your life, seriously, I know it's, been, it's a fucking bumper sticker at this point, but there's a point in your life when it was the last time you went out to play with your friends and you didn't even realize it. Like, that was the last time you actually went outside yeah. to play. So, basically, ring pops taste like innocence to like, you. Like, it's just, it, it's a kitty candy. Sure. Like, no adult sitting there sucking on a ring pop. I, I don't know. I think the way things have come back around, I think they might at this point. I just, it's just, it's it's the most kid candy ever. Besides that, and like the the, the, the necklace the, the with the sweet tarts. Yeah, candy necklaces. Candy are, necklaces. Uh, the whistle, whistle pops. Those are. Yeah. Hey, you, you were hung up on ring pop. Did they play a significant role in your childhood? Like, did you have some sort of deep-seated memory that you haven't been able to drag out where we, ring pops were just ripped away from you and that was it? Like, it. Oh boy, we're. I, I don't want to talk about. It. Let's take that. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, pipe dream. Okay, so that's significantly more muted than I thought it was gonna be. That's not as tart and acidic as I thought. I thought it was gonna, gonna be. be super sweet. Yeah, to be honest, it's it's not. It's very pleasant. It's almost subtle. I mean, it's not subtle, but it's not. It's not bomb. It's not bombastic. It's not. Poof in your face. Yeah, it's uh, it's a nice mellow candy flavor. Yeah. Oh wow! I you know what it's like? It's like after eating the candy, mm -hmm. and you just have the flavor chilling yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. Not when you're actually eating the candy. Mmm. This is an easily drinkable beer. Uh, it's it's going down very smooth. No respect from these guys. I respect the fact that. A bunch of these sours, you're going in and think it's going to be like one of those heavily fruited jams where it's like more like traditional sour. How many? Like uh, Berlin or. You is know. this the third one we've drank? The third sour? And I think each one we've gone into going. Yeah, I mean, if you include the seltzer, yeah. It's, okay, well, well let's, let's say, because each one we've gone into going, ah, it might be this, it might be this. And then we drink it and it's like a completely different story. Then they got their sour game on point. Yeah, that's pretty good. I enjoy that. If you that, if you like sours that, and you like watermelon, see, I could drink a can a can of this. It's not overly tart, not overly acidic, not overly sweet. It's like kind of balanced on each aspect. And yeah, you know, I like the watermelon. I'll, I'll I'll. Some people stray from the watermelon. I'm not a big watermelon guy, especially in in like fl watermelon flavored things. You ever had a watermelon Airhead? Yeah, it's it's no good. I, I don't care for that. I don't really like Airheads anyway. They're, it's like grainy. Yeah, it's not for me. Well, how do you feel about Laffy Taffy? Laffy Taffy, on the other hand, that's not bad. Still, eh, I could do without it. Man. I'd rather have a high chew. You ever had a watermelon high chew? I've not. I have. Yeah, I know you have. Now that's something. All right. Um... Uh, What do you rate it? I'm going to give it a personal end for what it is rating. Um, personal? Some bit of grainy aspect to this. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a 4. I'm not a big watermelon person. Oh, yeah. Watermelon flavored stuff, but I think it's really good and I think I could drink a whole can. I'd of like this. a 4 too. For what it is? No, like a 4.2. I mean, this is not 4 too. It's like a 4.8. I mean, it's Exactly what it says it yeah. is. It's delicious. I, uh, you know what? It's a five all day because you donate to cancer based on proceeds. There you go. I'll, I'll five all day. Put that. Um, there's a bit of grainy. I can't. I can't, like the the underlying base. Yeah, <clears throat> it's very. It's buried. A bit of the malt. Yeah. Um, mm. doesn't take away from it, but it, it's there. All. It's there. It's not like a hundred percent. Just you can't even tell this was a beer. It's like yeah. a Berliner yeah. Vice. Yeah, something like that. Cripes the way their seltzer was, you could almost think it's a seltzer. Well, Jeez. they say it's sour ale. What do they say? I don't know. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> another nice, pleasant outing from Pipe Dream Brewing. This video is like 20 minutes of us not talking about the beer. Um, we talked about the beer. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. We're not here to be robots. That's true. We're just living in a pipe dream, my friend. Uh, and this pipe dream was uh, pleasantly good, and we appreciate um, 
the ability to taste these. So um, until next time, uh, down in the description below, FLX Beer Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, YouTubes, my untapped, Mike's untapped. Uh, yeah, we'll leave a... Yeah. Are you putting like Pipe Dreams stuff down there? Description? There's a hashtag down there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cheers. We're the biggest boobs on YouTube. <laughs>